Hey everyone, this is Darren, and my channel's been fairly inactive because of that wonderful thing called life. Funeral, and business trip, and overtime, and test procedures, and all kinds of fun stuff like that. But, this you'll notice this is not my regular series. I do have a little something that I'd like to do. Um, of course, I'll get back to that, but this is just a little quick thing. And this is the Battlestar Pegasus for Mobius models. And, you know, I'm a sucker for spaceships, so this is something I decided to just do for fun. And, you know, mostly spray paint and gluing, so there's no real reason to make a video of it. But what I was going to do is I was going to show what I've been doing lately for decals. Uh, lately, I think two years ago I did the Battlestar Pegasus. Really enjoyed that. I was reading up. And they've got this Microsol and Micro set. You know, this is from Microscale Industries. And honestly, the micro, micro set is probably diluted vinegar. <laughs> At least that's what it smells like to me. It may have something else, but the Microsol definitely smells different. And so I was just going to show what this does because if you can see I think it shows that this is a very contoured it's got lines and things like that and when I did this on the Galactica it worked very well so I was, I've already done all the other decals on this one and it's all inside work and fiddly bits and not that interesting but this and this will be interesting and I'm going to do it kind of like the instructions say and they say to start with the, the micro set, which again is probably akin to off the screen. I'm dipping the decal in fresh water just to have everything out in front of us. You probably won't be able to see that, but oh well, it's just right there. And yeah, they say to brush on the micro set first. And really all I think this does is kind of clean it. Well, it gives... Hold on, I got a brush in my mouth. It gives kind of a, a watery base for the slide decal to get on. And, you know, once I put this on there for a couple others, I've messed around with it for a good two, three minutes. I don't remember doing that from all my snap tight models. But let's see if we got this loose yet. And it is. And I already checked which direction this all goes. And we'll just slide it on here. And that's not the right direction. I just lift up on it. I can reposition it with the brush pretty easy. If it would let me. Okay try left-handed here and get it in about the position I'd like. I'd like it a little bit more clocked in one direction. Maybe I can just slide. Nope. I think I actually have to pull it up and move it a bit. And if I could get those two lines to match up that would be great oops and once it starts to move it just really moves all over the place see you're not lined up so I'll just lift you up again there's a couple lines in there I think would be good to clock and now if we could just move it that direction would be great. Of course now I'm not lined up with what I wanted to line up, but we're going to call that good. And then they say to go back in with the micro set and just start brushing that on. And let that sit two or three minutes. I still don't like how that's lined up. Those two 
wings or whatever they are. I would like them to be. And I hear it breaking, so I'm just going to leave it there. Yeah, they used some incense or something to do that. So then the next step they call out, let me just wash the brush off right quick, is to press down with a paper towel. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I don't like the paper towels. I think it needs... I'm using a coffee filter again. This is my painting filter, actually. I shouldn't use it, but... Then, for more flexibility, they recommend the Microset. And it definitely smells different. And so I'm just going to brush this on. And then I'm going to just kind of push it down with the brush. And of course, I probably should just let it sit for a little bit while. A little bit while. Yeah, I'd claim I'd had too much eggnog tonight, but that's not the case. Didn't even buy eggnog this year. So, let that sit for a little bit. Ouch. And then I'm just going to kind of tap it around. And it really does seem to get really flexible. I hope that's not a hair on there. And I'm just going to put it there. And I believe that's done. And so, you know, once this dries, I'll hit it with a spray of matte. Just because I've got some washes coming in. But it really looks a whole lot better than any decals I ever put on when I was eight. So I'm happy with that. Like I said, the, the first ones smelled like diluted vinegar, but the second one was different. But this might be something you're interested in. I know there's a lot of... I do mostly Reaper minis right now. I do expand out. And, you know, Gameworks Space Marines, they all have decals that you can put on. And this definitely helps hide the edges a lot. Like, you know, this slide decal ends, I think, well short of the circle here. And on the Galactica, which I'd grab, but I'd have to disassemble it from its base. It really hides the edges, and you know, I'm fairly happy with what it actually did. So, something to look into, in case you're curious. I just figured I'd show it to you while we wait for Santa to come at our house. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays etc etc and I think that's about it in case you're curious the only thing I've got left to do on this besides glue it all together okay steps that I have left I'm gonna mat spray over all the decals just to kinda protect it from the next step which will be to just do a black wash over all this spray painted silver and I've had good results with that, so I'll do it again and you know, just really slop it on well. And then after that, it's another coat of spray, and up on the display shelf it goes, right next to the Galactica. So, anyway, like I said, have a good one.